Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, my name is Jen. In today's video, I will be organizing my bathroom but specifically the cabinet under the sink. I have a small bathroom and unfortunately I do not have a lot of storage. I do have a medicine cabinet as well and I think it's pretty well organized but I can say the same for the cabinet under the sink. In the past, I've tried to implement some kind of uh, system but it hasn't really been working for me lately. And I wanted to find a solution that would maximize the use of the vertical space underneath the sink. So I went over to Amazon and I found a under the sink organizer. And that's what we're going to use in today's video. Before I dive into the video, I just want to say if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Leave a comment down below if you have any tips or suggestions for me. And lastly, please click the little bell icon if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. Here I am unboxing the shelf and building it. This was the only one I found that was small enough to fit under my cabinet. The instructions were very easy to follow. One thing I forgot to take into consideration is the way the pipe is designed underneath the sink. You will see what I'm talking about in a few. bathroom and here's the crime scene as you can see it's pretty chaotic down there to organize my products I use these shopping bags at first it was going well but I ended up piling more and more products in them first step is to clear the cabinet I'm removing everything to clean the cabinet properly it's embarrassing but please don't judge how dusty it is down there I really neglected this cabinet Expect a cameo from Loki in 4, 3, 2, 1. So I brought the shelf into the bathroom to start organizing and this is where I realized that I did not take into consideration the way the pipe was designed. I ended up taking the shelf apart and rebuilding it to fit into the cabinet. Unfortunately, the only way I was able to make it fit was to lose the top shelf. I was bummed at first but I ended up making it work. Now I'm 
really just placing my products on the shelf, figuring out the best way to make the best out of the setup. So you're going to see me move things around a little bit. ended up putting all the cleaning products on the left side. The little Sephora bag holds gloves and cleaning rags. This is the medicine cabinet I have above the sink. I store my frequently used items in there. I used these clear containers from the dollar store to give every group of items a home and again make the most of the small area that is available to me. I've had this little system for a while now and I think it makes it very easy for me to keep everything in place. <laughs> Here in the shower, I have this tall shower caddy that I picked up from Walmart. They come in different finishes and they're adjustable, so even if you have a full stand-in shower, you're able to adjust it to make it fit. Here I'm just putting some products that I ran out of that morning that I got underneath the sink earlier when I was cleaning it. So here's a tour of my bathroom. I got these lights from Home Depot and I absolutely love them. They give the bathroom a little glam vibe. I got my medicine cabinet from Ikea. It goes well with the sink that was already there when I got my place. I don't have counter space per se so I only added this soap dispenser that I got from Winner's Home Sense. The flower arrangement is a DIY project. I got the flowers from the dollar store and I used a Bath & Body Works candle as a vase after I burned it of course. I like the fact that the vase was white and vanilla bean is one of my favorite scents to burn. I got this hook from Winner's Home Sense and I use it to hang my shower cap. I added this plant arrangement to add a bit of green to the bathroom. The faux plant and pot are from Ikea. Originally, the pot was black but I spray painted it in this copper color to go with the rose gold accessories in the bathroom. P.S. I may or may not be addicted to everything rose gold. If you know me, you know. Also, peep the rose gold trash can. Here we have my shower that I redid last year and I absolutely love the marble tiles I chose to go for. I also put the same tiles on the floor and overall it really upgraded the look of the bathroom. Last rose gold accent is this toilet paper towel holder that I got from Winner's Home Sense. Mm -hmm. 